Hi, I'm Sandra, the creator at Sinclair Create, and today I'm sharing all the fun activities you can do with a parachute in the music classroom. This is a Bear Paw Creek small parachute. It has four handles on it, so it's perfect for small groups. Look how nice and easy this would be to take with you if you're a traveling teacher. You could use it as one of your stations. You wouldn't need to have one for every student in the room. You could have this little parachute at one station. You could have some scarves at another station, some rhythm cards at another station, and a xylophone and some melody cards or a song you were working on at another station. And voila, your students are going to have a lot of fun. So today I'm going to share some activities that you can do with this parachute. One activity you can do with this small parachute or with a large parachute is to play the steady beat. And I know some of you probably already know how to do this, but you have everybody holding the parachute and then you have either a cush ball, a stuffed animal, or even a bean bag in the middle of the parachute and everybody's gonna try to play it to keep the steady beat. You can play this kind of activity two different ways. You can do it where you have them sing a song that they know and they're playing it and singing it like Grizzly bear, a grizzly bear is sleeping in a cave. Then at the end of that song you go, he gets very mad. And they would have lots of fun lifting it really high and then coming back down really, really low on the ground. Or you can just use some beat music, steady beat music, background music, symphony music, uh, carnival, the animals music. Those kind of things work really well with the parachute, playing the beat or showing the music what they hear type activities. Another fun way you can use a parachute in your classroom is doing some vocal explorations. So if you've done them where you have the paths on the board and your students are following along, Maybe you've used puppets or scarves to do that. You could get out your parachute Woo! and have the students do their vocal explorations with the parachute. Another way you can use parachute in your classroom is to use a song, a story song, and have them play the parachute to the story song. I wrote a song called Flying High and Low and it's about the butterfly, the honeybee, and the dragonfly. And each verse is about the little insect and they're floating and flying around the garden. And then they fly high, and then they fly low, and then they fly high and low, and they go around the garden, and then they stop. Some fun things about this song is that they're doing medium moves high mood, low mood, and then they all have to stop together at the end of the song. So it's a really good listening and responding activity. I'm a butterfly in the sky. Fly, fly, fly in high. Over flowers and trees, along with the breeze.
I really like using parachutes in my music classroom. The kids love them when they see it in the middle of the circle, not spread out, but it's in the middle of the circle and the kids come in and they see it and they are so excited to come into music class and do a parachute music activity. I do think it's important to have a music concept that connects to the movement of the activity so that we're not just playing around, but we're hopefully connecting some musical dots to help them learn a music concept like high and low or the steady beat or just being creative and creating our own patterns with them. There are so many ways you can use a parachute in the music classroom. This small size parachute is from Bear Paw Creek. They're great for stations. I hope you'll check it out. I appreciate you watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's keep kids moving and learning with music.